It was the first ever murder conviction of a fentanyl dealer. Now that man has been sentenced to 15 years behind bars. CBS 13 Shante Passmore has more on the precedent now set in Placer County. What happened inside of court is historic, but prosecutors are cautioning this is not a celebration. Through the pain of losing a child, families are doing everything they can to prevent more deaths. Court is now in session. The Honorable Angus St. Evans presiding. History made in California. These are the written words of Nathaniel Papakungan. He says, I apologize for my actions and the damage I have caused to everyone. Inside court, Nathaniel Kubikungan sat quietly as family and friends of Jules Wolf read their victim statements. Investigators say the 22 year old sold pills to Wolf before she died from fentanyl. She was 15. <laughs> Outside Placer County Superior Court, a who's who across the state applauded the victory. For those that come into our county and knowingly sell their poison, we will come after you. The conviction and sentencing of Kabakungan, an intricate web involving prosecutors and police departments. However, the work far from over as state lawmakers renew calls for legislation to combat what some call a public health crisis. We're united in that commitment to public safety. I miss everything. I miss her smile. I miss her hugs, her encouragement, her laughter. Wool's family say they know they've navigated the judicial system with success, but say this day is bittersweet. I have to tell myself that no amount of time, no sentence is going to bring her back, but that her story is already making a huge impact. During my talk with Wolf's mother, she tells me she hopes her daughter case will create more momentum in prosecuting more dealers. Such heartache, but now consequences for that crime. There's also a new online portal to help families understand fentanyl while giving talking points for them to use with their children. We have a link set up to it on our website, CBS13.com. Governor Newsom has signed several new bills into law to crack down on California's fentanyl crisis. One requires stadiums, concert venues, and amusement parks to stock doses of the opioid overdose drug Narcan. Another one requires community colleges and CSU campuses, like Sac State, to provide fentanyl test strips to students.